Welcome to Ratnapura, a historical city in Sri Lanka known as the City of Gems. But today we are here for a different kind of gem or more commonly known as liquid gold that is Agarwood. Agarwood is a very special tree to us and most definitely to the world itself. The resins developed inside the tree is extremely fragrant and therefore it has a prominent place in the perfume industry. But when you have the purest form known as oud oil, that's what makes agarwood so special because oud oil has a fantastic smell and it is very rare and extremely hard to make. Even to get a drop of oil, you need to put so much effort and skill. I won. Welcome to Bintana. So here we have the state manager of Pintana Plantation, Mr. Lahin Eski. He will be taking us around the plantation to show how agarwood is cultivated at Pintana. So Mr. Lahin, if you don't mind, could you explain a little bit about the history of Pintana? So we started the estate back in 1999. Our founder and managing director, Mr. Kumar Damasena, planted several trees like cinnamon, tea, rubber and even pepper. But it was not until 2009 that we started cultivating agarwood. And from there, we established Sri Lanka's first wood distillation factory. And as you can see, we have thousands of agarwood trees across our estates. Let me show you around our estate. First up is the nursery. There are many species of agarwood across the continents throughout our world. However, we mainly cultivate three species of agarwood in Pintana plantations. Acularia crasna, Acularia subintegra, and Gyanops walla. Now Gyanops walla is a very unique species of agarwood, only found within the regions of Sri Lanka. It boasts a very unique aroma of oud, and to my knowledge, nothing can be compared to it. First stop is at the nursery. This is where they plant agarwood seeds and nurture them. Agarwood is a special tree and it requires special treatment. If you look up, you'll see there's a special mesh that covers the nursery. This is actually to reduce 50% of the light that is provided to the plants. The reason is this reduces the hardening process time as well as it increases the growth rate of the trees. Excuse me, Mr. Lahin, uh, you mentioned about a hardening process. Could you explain about uh, it a little bit? Yes, the hardening process is an extremely stressful time for the plants. We no longer provide the mesh that filters out the sunlight. We limit the amount of water, nutrition and fertilizers we provide to the plants. This is an important process because this helps the plants to adapt to outdoor conditions. So once the plants are properly conditioned, we shift them from the bag to the ground. So let's take a closer look at it. Sure. Pintana plantation is organically certified by the Control Union of Sri Lanka, which means from seed to oil, the total process is organic and eco-friendly. We used compost and organic fertilizers, and even our inoculation is completely organic. It was always a vision of mine to convert our operations to fully sustainable approach and within such a short period of time we were able to do it.
So we have seen how they are planted. Now it's time to see how they look like once they are matured. So this stretch is about 10 to 12 years old. So at this point, inside this tree, there's a lot of resins. So it's extremely valuable. So you know in Sri Lanka, there's a lot of illegal poachers out there. So we need to make sure that these trees are well protected. To do that, we use a lot of strong fences and also guard dogs deployed around the estate. So, what are these dark spots? This is a result of agarwood inoculation. Inoculation is a process where we insert a certain fungi to induce resins inside the tree. So usually, agarwood induction is, happens naturally, but it takes a long time. So to reduce the amount of time it takes to induce this agarwood, we insert this fungi. So next, I will show you the process so you can see it by yourself how agarwood is inoculated. We use a 100% organic process that has been tested and proven to produce an optimum harvest within a shorter period of time. As we develop Sri Lanka's most effective inoculation, we want to help all Sri Lankan planters to have a taste of success. To achieve this goal, we introduced the Pintana Amu Pradhana project, which opened doors for all agave planters to purchase Ainakidan. When it comes to inoculation, Gaidnops Walla is an exception. These Sri Lankan agave trees are much older than the other species, and they are what you would call wild agave, locally known as Walla Patta. They have been highly saturated with resins through natural causes such as animals or even lightning. So it is always the best to extract the resins in its natural state. That is why these trees are not inoculated. The construction of the wood oil factory was one of our greatest achievements. All this time, it was actually illegal to export agaud from Sri Lanka. But we were very happy to receive the license to export agaud for the first time. And to do that, we built this factory. And this factory was built with the support of the Sri Lankan government. A certain cost of the budget was offered to us as a grant through the agriculture sector modernization project. So, we are at the end of our journey. As you can see, this is a natural pool filled with natural water which gives you a beautiful view located at the top of the estate of Pintana. Yes, so I hope you know what Sri Lankan Nagavad is and how Sila New Doyle is made. We are going to enjoy the rest of the day right here in this beautiful bungalow. See you, See you around! around.